So while waiting for Elden Ring, I've decided to attempt a consumables only run. If I can throw it, I'm going to use it to deal damage to enemies and bosses. Let's see how quickly I lose my mind. Throwing knives have A scaling and skill, and Molotovs have A scaling and arcane. So this will be a skill and arcane based build. So I'm going to pick Cruel Fate. That's fitting and we can just go ahead and start this. In order to achieve the max damage on molotovs and throwing knives and pebbles, because pebbles have an A scaling and strength, I will be utilizing the dupe glitch um, once we get to Ludwig, <laughs> if we can get to Ludwig. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to do enough damage to kill them with what I have. Now I have seen some people play through the game with consumables only, so I know it's possible to do it, but I have not seen anyone beat Lawrence, because he just has an obscene amount of HP, but I want to see how far we can get with max stats. Okay, that's one. Two. There we go. That's what we want to do. Pretty much, he'll do one, and then come close to the gate, he'll do a second one, spam L2 and R2, and the animation will phase you through the gate, allowing you to access Sefka's clinic or the Forbidden Woods area right away. I'm going to pull this and then quit out, just so he doesn't annihilate me. Now, the main reason I wanted to come here first is I have access to this brain sucker mob. And he actually drops a decent amount of souls for the beginning of the game. And the crows up top, uh, oh shit, he saw me. The crows up top also drop a good amount of souls. So we're gonna, we're not gonna fight him right now because we don't, we, well, we can't, we don't have anything. I'm probably gonna farm him early on just to get a decent amount of consumables and level up arcane and skill. We also have access to the Kanehurst summons right away. Now you might be wondering, oh, Blizz, why don't you go down to the Forbidden Woods and farm some good souls there? That'll get you more souls and more Molotovs. Well, if you go down to the Forbidden Woods first, that will prematurely end Eileen's questline. Now, if you do complete Eileen's questline up to the point where you help her defeat Henrik, you are free to go straight to the Forbidden Woods and that will be okay because per quest line you don't interact with her until after the Forbidden Woods anyway. We're back in the dream baby. So as soon as you start the game you can only purchase Molotovs, Pebbles, Blood Vials, Bullets. So in order to get access to the Throwing Knives we need to get the Saw Hunter's Badge which is in that tunnel with the pig, so that won't be hard at all. And over here, something important, some oil urns. Excuse me, boys. Give me that, thank you. Next order of business is the Saw Hunter's badge, which is right next to this thick boy. Please don't kill me. I said please don't kill me. He's noisy too. I'm liking this run a lot so far. Nothing stupid has really happened. We still have not talked to Eileen, but we can take care of that very soon. Please hit. Oh wow! That worked out great. I did not expect him to be that weak to fire. If I could get a two for one, that'd be fantastic. Yes, sir. And you get 682 souls from that. Perfect. So we got around 3,000 for one run. That's pretty respectable. I think I want to go up to 20 arcane, 20 skill, and then I will challenge the first boss. So I will see you all soon. change my mind. I cannot open the door. Please, try to understand my position. What? Oh. A hunter, are you? Okay. Here we go. Uh. 
Okay. This isn't bad at all. In fact, this might be easier than just mailing it. Yep, there we go. One down. You know, no matter how many times I fight Gascoigne, well, after he transforms, I'm just very stressed out. I can never get, like, a, a good read on what he's about to do while he's in his beast form. You know what I just remembered? I did not grab the music box. That might have been helpful here. That's good damage. Jesus. Ow. Oh. Okay. Not, not good. So much blood comes out of one knife. Oh, what's that smell? Oh god, phase two. The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. Oh, yikes. It's enough to make a man sick. I heal up. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Can we use this? That didn't do anything. I think it's health is too low. I'm getting tossed around. Oh, it did, it did do something. See ya. Okay. So next up... Blood Starved Beast? Yeah. I'm thinking yes. How about we 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 don't? How about we don't? This run's not bad so far. I do worry about the blood star feast though. I feel like I'm just gonna get poisoned and die and waste all my resources. When I first played Bloodborne, BSB was like such a big roadblock for me. I think I restarted the game like twice. I just couldn't figure it out. Just super aggressive, has poison, has a grab that's pretty much an instant kill. The bane of my Bloodborne first experience existence. Really almost killed. I am missing everything. That didn't do as much as I thought it was gonna do. That missed too. This isn't looking good. Ah. Uh, yep. I don't think I can kill that yet. So I looked it up, and you can get the rope molotovs by killing Durja, so that will probably be the next thing we do. Maybe I can get him to like jump off or something. Oh, there's a cockroach in my room. How did you get here? There's a cockroach in my room and I'm fighting a hunter. Just go... J can you stay still? Oh my god, it's the flying kind of cockroach. How did that miss? You were standing right in front of me. I should think you still have dreams. Wow. Now the cockroach is gone. Where the fuck did it go? Oh god. Oh god, there it is. Okay, I got it. The good news is I got it. The bad news is I... It...
it's scraped all across the wall. This doesn't seem like a very fair fight. I should think you still have dreams. This is getting very annoying. I like the dodging to the left. If I just keep dodging around, we'll get confused. Shit. Really? I should think you still have dreams. From this point of the run, I was legitimately stuck. I went back and tried to farm more blood echoes to get more throwables. I tried gathering poison knives and tried poisoning him. Then I saw he could heal. I am so upset. And I grabbed the numbing mist, and I tried that too. But he oh, just dodged that. everything. God. From here, I could have gone to the Forbidden Woods, but that wouldn't have changed the fact that I'm out of numbing mist. And Vicar Amelia is a healing boss. On the chance that she would heal, I would not have enough consumables to kill her. So after throwing my last numbing, numbing mist, mist, the run was oh, I actually hit pretty him. much soft locked. How did you- did it just run out? I should think you still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to start over.